It's 2020, everyone! I've got a billion views! Yes, Colin Firth's channel has hit a billion views total, or it's gone over it. So, a billion times, you've watched an Englishman build epic stuff in this little shed. And there will be more of that. I have a massive technical project to start immediately. But before I do that, I want to make some modifications to the place. I've done it before. I made my lovely inset metal brake folder. You like that? My awesome hydraulic system over the bench, which is going to come in useful. So, what else am I going to do? Well, we're going to start off with the bench itself. Okay, first job. The vice is the negative for all the welders. So if something's in the vice, you can just weld it. And to extend that area, I've kind of put this little bit of plate here on the bench, tack welded it to the welding stand. If it's touching that, you can weld it. But I don't like it. Hey, it flaps around, it's not flush. It's not very furs, is it? So I've got this lovely bit of six mil plate. We're gonna cut the bench out, sink it in. It'll be nice and flush. What a way to start 2020, people. Right, let's get the saw out, let's get it in. I think it must be me, I'm still not feeling fine. Although I don't feel much, if I am out of line. Especially if you... This thing has not been off in 10 years. It is nearly 10 years to the day that this workbench was made. Because I made this whole shed over the Christmas of 2009. <laughs> things have been built on that piece of wood. I think that'll look nice in a frame at the top of the stairs. Mwah. I'm far away from a small fire in Colin Fur's world. Nice and smooth integration, all nice and level. Now I've just got to plonk stuff on there and I can weld it, it's all left. Now, you may have noticed from recent videos, Colin First merchandise is available. We've got this wonderful t-shirt, doesn't just come in blue, it comes in a more subtle red color as well. And I don't just do t-shirts, if you're feeling a little bit nippy, I do a jumper as well, with a beautiful Airfix design on it. Now, you can also get mugs if you get thirsty. But for 2020, we've got something special. Oh, you can have your official Colin First safety tie. Yes, comes in this wonderful box. It's even got instructions of how to put a tie on because it's tricky for some. And there we are. You could be supporting the channel subtly in all sorts of locations. You can be at work and it's just like, ooh, Colin First safety tie. So then, they're available for pre-order. There's links in the description. There's a link at the end of the video. On with the workshop mods. Now the next thing we're going to do, you've actually witnessed me having the problem with it already, is my plasma cutting situation down here. The problem's basically out here. As you've seen, if you want to plasma cut anything, 
I'm kind of laying on the floor. We have bits of wood down to stop it burning the concrete like it has done. It's generally just not very easy to use. So this is my solution. On this fence, I'm going to have like a fold up mesh bench. So you can just plasma cut all the way through it. I'm going to stuff the torch through the side of the shed so I don't have to have the door open because obviously if the door's open, can't really get the torch around it very easily. And that hopefully will make it a lot easier to use because I don't use it that often anyway because I'm normally using the CNC one. But every time I do want to look at it and I just think, oh, I've got to get that thing out, I've got to lay all bits of wood down and then it's always in the way. You can't shut the doors properly. It's a problem. Don't like problems? That's how I'm going to solve it. With a little, with a little bitch bench. <laughs> I'm just a man without a life If I have no reason to deny I've got no reason to deny oh, Tomorrow's just another life It's been before It's been before cutting table. Whack some hinges on it, whack it on the fence. times and I can tell you it is a massive improvement over scrapping around on the floor. Actually makes quite a nice bed as well. Now the next problem is in the garage. So the slip roller weighs a ton. I can't move it out very easily on my own so I'm going to stick some wheels on this side, a hinge on this side and then I can literally just pull it out Lock the wheels, slip roll, slip roll, slip roll, unlock the wheels, push it back again, boom. Of course, this is a first world problem because no doubt not many of you are sat there thinking, yeah, my slip roll is really hard to move as well.
definitely going to work. It's a nice guy anymore. Right, so next thing I've got to do is kind of hinge this off the corner of this wall. So what I'm thinking, I'll stick a floor plate down, put two bits, two nice big thick plates up here, weld them all up, screw them into the wall, screw them into the wall, screw it into the floor, weld it all in position so it's definitely in the right orientation, and then have some big plates coming across here onto some light hooks, and then stick, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> it'll either work or it won't. slip rolling oh yeah I think I do do some slip rolling so much easier than before this was a fantastic idea it actually makes this thing usable it is so heavy and I know it's heavy because while I was filming this it actually fell over and if it wasn't for my welder kind of moving where it fell it would have crushed my foot it did nearly clip the ankle bruised it but it took four of us to pick this up and put it back on its feet Okay, 2020 workshop modifications complete. Now I've got to get on with the old projects. I'm building a tank, yes. I'm not gonna build a conventional tank though. If you can have a guess at what I am gonna build, stick that in the comments. Now, this is gonna be quite a technical exercise. So there's gonna be some preliminary updates on my social media channels and also, especially exclusively, the channel memberships. I've turned that on. You can push the join button down in the corner there. It's only 99p, I've done it the cheapest one. You get your special icons against the comments. You'll get money off merch, which actually will pay for itself. And of course, you will get early access to various bits and bobs. So go ahead, support the channel via that. We've got the uh, merchandise I showed earlier. That's gonna be linked at the end of the video, which is coming up in about five or 10 seconds. It's in the description. Hope you enjoy 2020. More coming up from Furs. Tidy my shelf up a little bit as well.